All right, what is going on guys? Uh, I'm here with a video telling you guys how to install Super BLT on Payday 2. Um, I've done this video before, but I decided to redo it because I didn't have a lot of the stuff that I do now. So, <clears throat> what Super BLT is, if you don't know, is basically it lets you add custom weapons into the game. Uh, custom weapons, custom attach, well, certain custom attachments, uh, require, uh, super BLT, but a lot of them kind of don't because they're just little add-ons. Um, but I'm going to show you how to install it and how to install a mod. Right. Uh, Alright, so if you just go on Google and type in Payday 2 Super BLT, it'll, it should be the first option. So when you go on there. This basically tells you how to install and the difference between the regular BLT and the Super BLT. So what you want to do is when uh, when you're done reading everything, where it says download the latest uh, release DLL, click it, and then you'll get a Rinrar or you'll get a folder. Um, you might need 7-zip or WinRAR uh, to extract it. So when you when you're in it, you go to your Payday 2 folder on Steam, and then you drop the WinSock in your mods folder. Nope, never mind. <laughs> uh, it actually tells you on here. Oh, in your Payday in your Payday folder so just in this um oh yeah it's right there uh and if you have blt installed already you have to delete the uh the original file and the base um so all these mods pretty much require beard lib and if you if you're pretty much starting fresh and you don't know how to do it Again, just go to Google, type in just Payday 2 Beardlib, <clears throat> and then just, I recommend Mod Workshop um, for everything, really, because that's where I get all my, my mods from, uh, and then just download it, go into it, and then just drag that into the mods folder right in here. Uh, and then after you're done with that, run the game to make sure everything runs good, and then you can start adding in mods. So then, what you would do after that is first of all keep your <laughs> your thing open. Now, some of these mods require to go in the mods folder, and others require to go in the mod overrides folder, and I'll show you how to get to those. Um, but the website I recommend is modworkshop.net. Um, and, uh, I think when you first go on it, I, it'll be all this stuff. Um, just, if you don't feel like going through all this stuff, just type in Payday 2, uh, mods. But, and the thing is, about that too, is there's an actual website called Payday Mods. Um, and I don't, honestly, I don't really recommend it because they don't have too much as a part of custom weapons and all that stuff. But you can still go on it. You might find some interesting stuff. Um, but it'll say Mod Workshop. Uh, so then once you're on there, it'll pretty much look like this. Uh, you can do heists. You can change stuff for the world characters, uh, your in-menu stuff, audio, you know, all that crap, but we're doing weapons, they have a bunch of stuff, uh, like, some of these will have different sounds, like, if you go on the pistols, uh, the cross kill, or the 1911, that's always my first choice to go, they got a bunch of stuff you can override to make it look like uh, Hitman's Silver Baller from Hitman Absolution. 
and then you got stuff like this, which I have John Wick, John Wick's uh, 1911, which when you put it into the overrides folder, it'll make it sound like the gun from the movie. Um, and if you were to do that, actually, I should probably show that too. <laughs> uh, you know, what, let's do it with uh, the Glock 17. Actually, we can just do it with this because this is his actual gun. Um, so once you find what all, not all the guns will have it, but some of them will. So like the contractor pistol or his Heckler and Coke P30L, uh, they have that. So when you download it, you'll have this. You want to go, you don't, oh yeah. You just drag this folder into the model overrides, which get to it by assets on overrides. And I've got it somewhere here. Yeah. John Wick Movie Contractor. And they do have the other ones too. Like for the M16, they have uh, the sound from his AR-15. Which I never got. I don't know why they would just put it as the actual gun they have in the game. <laughs> his 1911, his Glock 34, they have the sound for the Glock 17 because the 34 isn't in it. Uh, and the Benelli M4. Now, the thing about the Glock 17 in this game is it has the option to put a long slide on it, which actually kind of makes it look like a Glock 34. Um, so that's how you would do that. But for custom weapons, you would go to add-on weapons, and then they got a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I chose a certain one. I went on pistols. They got a lot, too. They, uh... They got a CZ-75, they got a Glock 17 3rd Gen, which actually I have that, and it's actually a lot better than the actual Glock 17 in the game, because they allow you to do a lot more things. Now, if you are looking for good weapons for the game, I really, really recommend this guy, because he has tons of custom weapons and pretty much all my weapons that I have that are custom in this game are actually from him uh, like the MMP the Walther P99 uh, I have the AP pistol I've got a ton of stuff by him and the gun that I chose to do uh, today was actually from him and it's the Duke Nukem 1911 um, so, okay, and you always have to look too, because sometimes it might have to go in the mods folder, or the mod overrides, so, I'm going to do this, download it, open it up, okay, I always do that to make sure that there's no other thing that has to be done, drag it into the, oh wait, I gotta change that, gotta drag this into the mod overrides, Sure, when? Yep. Okay, and then what you can do is you can start up Payday 2. Make sure it works. Okay, and then if you want to figure out if the mod worked, click where it says, or where it's the blue, or if you have an update, it'll tell you. Um, and then either you can look for it, which mine's right there, or it might be somewhere else in there, but it'll be there. So then I'm going to go to inventory. Now, the one mod I have allows you to have a secondary as a primary, and there's also a mod that allows you to do primary as secondary, and you can use both of those mods together. Now, I only had it for the secondary as primary because I have the John Wick character, I like to be authentic. So I had his contractor, and earlier I had the Glock 26, which is already in the game. Um, so just to kind of show you, some of the, uh, the weapons in here are Add it in, like the LaRue OBR, the TTO CL3 rifle, which is actually the Terran Tactical Innovations. I know it says O, but copyright, you can put that. So it's the actual, like the TTI um, John Wick gun from the second movie. Uh, the only thing is that 
the short dot mod is not allowed with this. Um, just kind of sad, but this is the assault rifle version. The only thing that I'm kind of sad about is it can't be more like the weapon, because the weapon didn't have this grip. It it didn't have this uh, angled grip. It actually had a vertical grip. Um, you can't use the short dot sight on this, which would have been more like it. But you can put a 45 degree sight on it, which is more like it. Um, I have the dual silver ballers uh, from Hitman Absolution. The Absolution suppressors. Uh, salient arms. Striking armory. I've got this. It's nice. Uh, I've got the actual uh, Tony Montana gun from Scarface. Because I don't know how this got around, but in this game, and you'll see a few like custom weapons if you actually pay attention in here, like the AK-12, AR-18, the Honey Badger, this AK, uh, the 416C prototype, the Big Boy, <laughs> and a Remington ACR. But in this game. They claim this to be the Scarface weapon, which is a Heckler & Coke 417. Not true. It was actually an M16. Just with an underbarrel uh, grenade launcher. But, that's okay. Uh, and then for weapons, I do have a few customs. Um, I've got the Glock 17, uh, Gen 3, the Smith & Wesson MMP40 which I have converted in this game to a 9mm instead of a 40 the Walther P99 the Colt M9 M1911A1 CZ75 Shadow uh, I do have a few others and real quick I'll go over this like I was saying oop wrong one that's the one I use when I'm going to be sneaky um, so <laughs> The difference on these two, this actually comes with the the mod. This one is something I added completely on my own. Now, the animation center axis relock, also known as a car stance. In this, it's not really how it's supposed to be, because in the game it aims like that, and that's not what the car stance is. The car stance actually uses the uh, the line kind of hard to show you without me pointing um it uses like the angle uh to aim and that was pretty much invented because a lot of guns that were made out of plastic with the cheap sights breaks off and you got to use kind of like that kind of angle to aim and the good thing about this one is that there's a straight well yeah that's what it is you use the straight edge to aim um, so that, and then on this, since when you use the center axis relock, it makes it, uh, like the John Wick reload as well, which is throwing the mag, popping it in and cocking the slide back. There's different barrels. Um, I added some suppressors. Uh, it's got a different grip. It's got different sights. It's got different lower receivers, which I have the stippled frame, which means it's kind of like a sandpapery type grip. They have Terran Tactical Innovation uh, mags. They have a magwell. I mean, a different kind of slides and a different sound bank for it. Now, I try to make this look as close <laughs> to the Terran Tactical gun as I could. The only difference is that it's not the same slide and it's not a long slide. Now, back to the other Glock 17, where there is an actual slide option for a long slide. Now, people will say it will be like a uh, Glock 17 long slide. It is. But it also makes it look like the Glock 34, especially with the slide cut on top. So, that, and I actually have the sound bank for the Glock 34 that John Wick used in the second movie. So, anyway the the silver baller um or not silver baller the duke's 1911 
Now, they will end up being pricey, but, you know, that's just how life goes. Um, so a bunch of different games comes with a bunch, or a bunch of different mods come with a bunch of different things. Um, this automatically comes with a uh, laser. Um, and that's actually pretty much it for this mod. <laughs> There's not really much to it. So now a lot of times what I'll do is I will go to uh, the safe house and test out the new weapons that I have. <clears throat> and I know I've been yapping a bunch, but I just want to let you guys know like how I'm doing it and what I've got and to show you what is actually kind of good. And, uh, and I'm glad that I don't have a safe house raid right now or else I wouldn't be able to do this. <laughs> And like I said, custom guns will have custom sound uh, sounds. Sometimes people will be lazy and use the sound of a different gun that's already in the game. But like this guy, this guy, he uses custom sounds for all of his guns. I don't think there's one gun that he hasn't used that has a same sound as a different gun. All right. So right off the bat, I can kind of tell there seems like it, there's a slight like grip or hand like weird hand placement. Actually, it's not. It's just all the way up on the beaver tail. Okay. Um. So like I was saying earlier, the the center axis relock animations. Wow, that was laggy. Um. It'll turn to the side for that Glock. And. It'll do that. Now, I also have a mod where if I, even if I don't shoot, if I reload, it'll be like an actual gun physic. It'll reload, and it'll already have one in the chamber. Because originally this gun only has 15. But everybody knows that every gun, you're able to put plus, well, probably not every gun, but you're able to put one in the chamber and load the clip. So like a 1911, uh, like a 45 ACP seven round mag. It can hold seven in the mag and one in the chamber. So a lot of people say it'll be an eight round capacity. Uh, some people say it'll be a seven plus one or a seven and one. So, so this, it's got a nice little laser. I don't know why he used that sound. can't even hear it. Now some mods won't be compatible with the, yep, like this is a 10 round clip by itself. And it won't add another, uh, it won't add another bullet. And a lot of times just to see like the rate of fire, I'll go into like the training center down here um, but I already know for this gun it's not gonna do too well Wow, I beat my time. <laughs> it, my original time was 2020. Now it's 1894. Nice. Um, now I only switched to the gun because I knew I was getting low on ammo. And especially in real life, I count my bullets when I shoot. Because <clears throat> then I know if I'm running out or if I need to reload. And a lot of times, especially when you're aiming down sights and the gun doesn't move, you won't know if you're out of ammo unless you pull the trigger and it doesn't go but a lot of times I'll count my bullets and turn it to the side a little bit to see if it's empty now that's what I do in real life that's not how everybody does it that's just how I do it because that's the way that's easiest for me <clears throat> so in the end this uh, super BLT mod is 
well worth it. Um, now, the one problem I did have a while ago is yeah, when I equipped it the long slide, it didn't show up. And then I put on the Super BLT and it shows up. So some mods might need Super BLT for visual effects and for custom sounds. <clears throat> um, so that's just how it is. There's really no way around it. Um, but if you guys want to check out uh, the Duke 1911 mod, um, I'll have that down in the description below as well as the um, Super BLT and the mod uh, mod workshop, um, website, so, yeah, if you guys have any questions on, you know, like, anything about Payday or how you install certain mods, some mods I'm not good with, like the Custom Heists mod, I don't really know how they work, I've never tried them. I'm thinking about getting one though, just to test out and see how they are. Um, <clears throat> and then for like custom weapons, custom attachments, if you guys need to know, let me know down in the comments. I'll be happy to do a video on that. And especially they do custom perk decks too, because Baba Yaga is John Wick's character. And it has his kind of like skill set. Um, <clears throat> so that's the other cool thing too, and melees, because I have a kukri, I've got, at least I used to have a few things, <laughs> oh, yeah, and a pencil. I used to have more, but I took some out because I wasn't using them, and the pencil was to go with John, Car John Wick's character. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it, it's really fun to mod it, and as long as your computer can run it, mine barely runs it. <laughs> And I've got a bunch of mods in here, and I'm going to have to go through all of them. Um, because, I mean, I have a ton of custom mods and everything. I'll show you real quick. So, mods on its own. I'm able to turn on more than one gadget, like a uh, flashlight and laser. <clears throat> the Baba Yaga perk deck. Uh, and a lot of custom... Uh, weapons needs other mods to function so like attachment uh, animations I don't know why they say attachment descriptions because all that doesn't really do much um, I have a carry stacker reload or a carry stacker which allows you to hold as many bags as you want and you won't get penalized um, custom attachment points so for like custom weapons for sights grips and all that stuff um, and just a whole bunch of other stuff. Tactical reloading, that's the, uh, what's in the mag plus one in the chamber. Um, and then custom over, and mod overrides, I've got a lot. <laughs> I've got a Scorpion Evo, uh, some, not all, <laughs> but some are just vanilla mods just different like the jungle uh ninja suppressor that's already in the game i just have it to where it's unpainted uh because it's got like a jungle or forest type of camo on it and i didn't want it on there so i just found an unpainted one and put that in more ammo types that's what you saw earlier with the uh different i mean well the different nine millimeter stuff uh let's see I got standalone M16 sights. The MOE furniture is like mags and stuff like that. The loophole delta point that was what was on the uh, the TTO CL3, whatever they call it. It's that 45 degree sight. I've got a bunch of other sights too. <clears throat> like I wish they made the Trijicon RMR sight as 45 degree because that's mainly what a lot of them are or what a lot of people prefer um 
yeah, I just, I just got a whole lot. <laughs> um, if any of you guys feel like you want some of my mods and mod overrides, like for the custom weapons, let me know down in the description because I'll set up a, uh, a download link so that you can grab those and then you can use whatever mods I've got or whatever. Um, <clears throat> So, yeah, just let me know that in the comments. If you guys need to figure out anything, let me know, and I'll be happy to help. But anyway, this is going to be it for now, because I still got to edit this. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed. Love your faces. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all later.